to the Elby Body Co. I'm Lorraine and welcome to this video OMG new number seven hydroluminous moisturizing foundation and there's a mouthful if ever there was one okay so this is the new number seven hydroluminous moisturizing foundation and if you are quick it's on offer at the minute for £10, normally £15, so £10. So if you want to get your £5 off, save yourself a fiver, now is the time to buy it. Now, it does say on here, it's got an SPF of 15, and it says visibly fresh and radiant skin. So, will it be? What will we think? We are going to test that. Now, I've prepped my skin. I've got my number seven Lift and Illuminate range of skincare on. And in the whole of the number seven skincare range, from their under 25 range to their 60 plus skincare range, there's a product, an ingredient called retinal palmitate. And that's also in this. It's a milder form of retinol. And so that's why the number seven skincare and also this foundation say they're suitable for sensitive skins. So, let's try it out. Okay, so it says shake before use. So I'm shaking. <clears throat> now the one thing about this that is slightly messy is that you haven't got a pump, but just a normal squeeze bottle so that's the only thing in relation to a pump bottle obviously these are slightly messier I'm going to pop some on the back of my hand just so you can see there we go it's a nice consistency it's not too runny at the same time it's got a little bit of movement it's not saying it's long wear, it's not saying it's 24 hours. Um, obviously, it is saying it's moisturizing, it's hydrating, and it helps give you a luminous skin. So, let's apply a little bit and start seeing what we think. Now, you can, it says apply with fingers, sponge, or a brush. So, it's really what your preference is. I mean, you could actually experiment with all three. Um, I don't mind uh, either. Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use a foundation brush, and sometimes I use my beauty blender. Okay, so I'm just going to tip my mirror slightly so I can see a little bit better and apply some to the skin. As you can see, I've got a few blemishes, and I'll confess, I'll come clean. I was out last night, so I put a tiny little bit of concealer in here on my eyes because I had dark circles on dark circles. But anyway, let's start applying a little bit. And obviously, by not having a pump, you've got to be careful how much you squeeze out, otherwise you could end up with loads. And because it is moisturising, I'm assuming and the fact I did wear it when I was out last night, that this is not going to be full coverage. But I do have to say to you, you know what? It does feel very nice. It's not moisturizing where it feels sticky and wet. It does feel a really nice consistency. Okay, so it's done quite well at covering the redness around my nose. I do suffer from quite red patches around each side of my nose and yeah it feels very moisturizing it does have grapeseed oil in and that's known for its nourishing properties it has vitamins a c and e it's almost like reciting the alphabet but there's no d Okay, now Boots did some research over four weeks. Now I don't know how many people were involved in this, 
but 90% said their bare skin felt healthier and 84% said their skin felt brighter and also they were saying 90% of the people felt that their skin felt more moisturised. Okay, and I can, I can see that, like I said earlier, it's not sticky, it doesn't feel wet, but it does feel nice, it does feel moisturised. Um, like I said earlier, you've got the retinol palmitate in there, which helps in the skin's renewal process. Um, you know, all these products are great. It's amazing, really, what they can get in the foundation now. And the foundation isn't bad. Okay, you can, if we look, you can still see this blemish slightly here. Um, but it's taken down the redness here. I have actually applied just two layers around here and a little bit over the nose because I know those are areas where, as I said, I suffer with the redness. But I think that's a pretty nice coverage. I'll come a bit closer. Now I'm actually using the warm beige. Like I said earlier, it's got SPF 15. It is suitable for sensitive skins as well. So what's it like? So here I am. Um, I've just applied a little bit of eyeliner, mascara, and a little bit of lip gloss. I haven't put anything else on my face other than a little bit of concealer because I didn't want to add any sort of bronze or anything like that because I wanted you to be able to see the skin close up. I'm really hoping that you can pick this up. As I was just applying my makeup in my Hollywood mirror, you know, one of those mirrors with all the lights around, the luminosity I could see coming from the foundation was really good. So I'm really hoping that that's going to reflect, as I say, on this video so you can see. So you know what, I'm gonna give that huge thumbs up for the luminosity because it really does give that nice little glow to your skin. As I said earlier, now is the time to bag yourself a bargain and get it at £10 instead of £15. It's not in the USA net at the moment. Um, I'm sure it won't be long. It does make a big change for us to have something here in the UK first, before the US. Um, but as soon as it comes to the US, I would recommend purchasing this. It is a really nice foundation. And like I said, in the areas, say like if you've got redness around your nose like me, just add a, li a little bit more at the second layer and increase the coverage. Now, how did it wear? Well, I went out last night, as I said to you earlier, hence the kind of a dehydrated extra wrinkles around the eyes today. But I put on my makeup and I put this foundation on earlier than when I went out because I wanted to give it a full wear test. I actually wore it a couple of days before. I could have filmed this um, video before now, but I did want to test it out and it really wore very well. Uh, I wore it for about five and a half hours, might have even been six. And yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up on that as well. So like I say, now is the time to go purchase it whilst it's 10 pounds. Are you yawning while we're doing this video? How cheeky, how cheeky, how very dare he. So, back yourself a bargain, get it at £10 while you can, but even at £15, yes, it's not the cheapest foundation, certainly not the most expensive, but it is very good, so I would recommend a purchase. So, for now, I'm gonna say please give me a thumbs up and a positive comment down below. But most of all, please help support the channel. I like making these videos, but I really need to get to a thousand subscribers. So please click on subscribe and support the channel and come back for more beauty, health or fitness workouts. Click that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video. But for now, bye bye. See you real soon.